When he was young, the late Kung Fu icon Bruce Lee learned Wing Chun martial arts from Hong Kong master Ip Man, a fact made famous by the phenomenal Ip Man movie series. Wen Shu, I met a new friend. He wants to learn Kung Fu. I will take him to meet you. Come in. But in his later years, Bruce Lee founded a martial arts style that is entirely his own, known as Jeet Kune Do. What exactly is Jeet Kune Do, and how similar or different is it from Wing Chun? Find out on today's Razor Pop. It's Razor Pop la. Martial arts expert Mark Stewart was introduced to Jeet Kune Do from as early as 1975, and from 1997, he trained with Bruce Lee's direct disciple, Ted Wong, currently the head instructor at International Jeet Kune Do School, which conducts workshops in the US and all over Asia. The Singapore-based Mark Stewart was invited to perform here at the recent I Am Bruce Lee contest organized by Encore Films. Jeet Kune Do is Cantonese for way of the intercepting fist. Intercepting means to stop the opponent with your strike, as opposed to a lot of traditional styles that teach you blocking and countering and so on and so forth. Bruce Lee wanted to end the fight quickly, so he chose interception as the most advanced uh, principle of his art. How is this different from Wing Chun? Wing Chun is a traditional Chinese style. It uh, emphasizes close contact and um, a drill called Qi Sao, which I'll be demonstrating. And Qi Sao is somewhat like Tai Chi's push hands, to where you join hands together and you feel the energy emitting from your arms against each other and you use that reference as a point of self-defense. Chi Sao, what we're doing is we're keeping our elbows in and we're pushing forward on our center line. The basic premise is that when he releases this energy that it creates a void that I hit into. That's the first notion. The second notion is I can clear this energy by moving the energy out of the way. And then I'm trying to do what's called Fon Sao, which is trap, trapping hands, trying to immobilize his hands. Later, he changed his art to be called Jun Fan Gong Fu, which was his Chinese name, Li Jun Fan. And there he began to research other styles and to change his martial art to, to fit his personal needs. This is a longer range interpretation of Wing Chun. In other words, um, instead of this double posture that we had to begin with, he felt it may be more practical that the engagement occurred with one hand and that this hand became a barrier for me to hit him. So I have to remove the barrier in order to get the hit. Now, if he presents a second barrier, then that's the opportunity to go ahead and follow up with the punch. His last stage of training was Jeet Kune Do, or Way of the Intercepting Fist. Interception is based on distance. The first premise is that when he's facing me, that at this distance he cannot punch or kick me yet. So when he steps forward, he becomes the target already. So his aggression is his step towards me. Now if you talk about martial arts in general, sophisticated martial arts hide their intentions. You don't know you're being hit until the hit is on the way. Okay? Then it uh, gets into other factors, as in avoidance. Thank you for the demonstration. Thank you. Up next, we clear up some myths about martial arts legend Bruce Lee.